Hello, lovely people. Welcome to another episode of Curries and Stories with me. Today, I'm going to make one of my favorite comfort foods, chicken pilau. Now, there is a difference between chicken pilau and chicken biryani, which I will let you know during the course of this recipe. So let's get cracking. So here I have half a kilo of boneless chicken thigh. You can use it on the bone if you want. It's your own personal choice. So into this, I'm going to add just under one tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste. This is about a quarter tub of plain yogurt. This is a marinade, guys, so stick with me. To squeeze half of this lemon in. Pinch of salt. We are going to season later, so don't panic too much. Give that a mix to make sure that all that ginger and garlic is covering all the chicken with the yogurt. So that's marinated. So I'll put this in the fridge for about an hour, no less than that. My chicken's been marinating for uh, just over an hour. Let that come back down to room temperature and let's crack on with the rest of it. Hob on, got my ghee. I'm gonna add, oh, lovely, a couple of tablespoons, a little bit more for luck. Let that melt, yum. I've got a couple of bay leaves in here. I've got about a teaspoon of cumin, coriander, bit of black pepper, corn, some green cardamom, some cloves. It's a general mix of dry spices. So just put a few of those in. Bit of so that's a general mix of dry spices. My ghee has become very fragrant. Now I'm going to add a couple of sliced onions. Right, the onions you need to brown because when they're brown, they add color to the curry, which will then add color to the rice, making it really rich and sumptuous and yummy. So the onions have become a nice golden brown. Now into this, I'm going to add one, two, teaspoons of some of my ginger garlic paste. It's splashing everywhere, turn it down. Smelling lovely and fragrant. And now, once you can smell that the ginger and garlic has cooked out, we then add our other ingredients. Green chili, chopped, there's about four there. A good teaspoon and a bit of chili powder and the same of turmeric. Some salt to taste. Give that a stir. Beautiful. And now, I have two chopped tomatoes here. In they go. Cook it for about five minutes. So, I'm going to grab my chicken and pop this in. It smells really good. Stir. Yum, yum, yum. This needs to cook for about, I would say, 15 to 20 minutes because you don't want to fully cook it. It's going to continue cooking when we add the rice. So the heat is cranked up. Just cook it fast for a little while until it's all heated through and then just bring it down a little bit. Stick the lid on and come back to that in about 10 minutes. So if you are using chicken on the bone, adjust your cooking times accordingly. Just keep an eye on it. Make sure that it doesn't overcook and it's not undercooked. It just needs to be just turning. That's the point you add the rice, but keep an eye. All right, that's been 10 minutes. I'm going to just show you the state of the chicken. So the knife should go through the chicken quite easily, as you can see, but not too soft. You know, it's just cooked. You see, just cooked. Because remember, it will continue cooking with the rice. Crank up the heat. Let's get this bubbling. Right, what I'm going to do is just check for seasoning. It's very important you do this at this stage. Mm. Woohoo! Hot! 
That is bang on. And when you taste it and the seasoning is right, you add a little bit more salt. Because remember, when you add this rice, it will absorb the flavor and a little bit extra salt will balance out. So I'm gonna add just another little pinch. Give that a little stir, yum. And now for the rice. Right, here I have my rice that's been soaking. This is a cup uh, that I've soaked. It's been about an hour, an hour and a half. Now I'm gonna add this in. Oh, that looks so amazing. Now to add the water. Now can I just say, this was the measurement I used for the rice. I used one of these. So for every one cup of rice, double the amount of water. One, give that a stir. Crank up the heat. Bring that to a boil. Now, if you remember, there was already a little bit of liquid already in the chicken. Now, you need to uh, account for that. So when I was measuring out my one mug, I measured the second mug up to here because that was allowing for the liquid already in the chicken. So be aware of that. Too much water, it won't cook very well. Bring this to a boil. So you can see that's come to a boil. Turn it down, give it one quick stir. So now I'm going to cover it with a clean dishcloth. This will help absorb the steam. Lid on, tight, cover it. Make sure the heat is low. And now it's just a waiting game. So I was telling you the difference between biryanis and palaos. So with a biryani, the protein is half cooked and the rice is also half cooked and then it's a layering process and cooked on a really low heat. With this method the protein is almost fully cooked but the rice is raw and you mix it all in together and just let it cook. That's the big difference. That's the difference. But I'm sure you've all got your own methods. Please do write and let me know how you cook yours. In the meantime it's a waiting game. Right, it's been oh, just under 10 minutes. I'm gonna turn this off. That looks lovely. We just put a fork through. Yum, yum, yum. Lovely, see the chicken is just breaking, so it's just cooked. So, finish this off with some of my homemade garam masala and also a mixture of some chopped up coriander with some chopped up mint through it. Then fork it through gently and we are ready to eat. And there you have it guys, my delicious chicken palau. Please do try it at home and let me know how you get on. Right now I'm going to go and stuff my face. See you next time.